kid that they're in, winless yeah. in 14 games, have played a strong game in their last, and the Pittsburgh Penguins want to continue what they've been doing here in the last seven or eight games. So I expect a spirited game between the Sabres and the Penguins. Out of the corner. Goudreau back of the goal. Pittsburgh's Colton Sevier. Goudreau to the slot. Angelo with a bid. Stopped again by Tokarski. Left by Tokarski and then this chance by Angelo from a prime scoring area. And CC coming back for the Penguins all the way around for his partner Mike Matheson. Skinner in front of chance. Tristan Jari said no on Sam Reinhardt. Miller now. A reset by Cousins and Jari stops that one again. Off the stick of Reinhardt. COVID pause you mentioned started on January 31st to mid-February. Rodriguez out in front, shielded by Tokarski, available and picked up by Rasmus Dahlin. But Dahlin was just spread right on his belly there and stopped a great chance. Dan Lafferty holding on to it in front, they score! Evan Rodriguez! Left alone on the back door and Pittsburgh is off and running. Eight this odd man opportunity and you can see Colin Miller, he wanted to kind of challenged there at the blue line and decided against it and tried to accept the two-on-one and Sam, that left room for Sam Lafferty to make that pass and is able to put it on the tape of Evan Rodriguez and an easy put away for the Pittsburgh Penguins. There's the D-man. That's Rasmus Dahlin. And no forward recognized that he was in on the forecheck there. Somebody has to understand. He'll send it all the way back for CeCe. He goes point to point. Shot taken by Matheson. Stopped by Tokarski. He's got the rebound. Jankowski at the line. This way, Rodriguez, the goal scorer. His shot. Sealed off by Tokarski. Off a of body, defended by Stahl. And now it's played outside the stripe and back by Matheson. Really hard to believe, Bush, that Paul's only got two goals this year. Yeah, isn't it crazy? I mean, when they signed him. Oh, Rodriguez again. Laid off the boards and deep for a change by Sam Lafferty. I think he's got to play more inside the dots, Bush, that yeah. being Taylor Hall. You know what I mean? you got to... You know, stop and start, get to the front of the net. Another chance, they score! Chris Latang finds an opening. And the Penguins continue to pour it on and lead 2 nothing. Sabres, and when you get this puck behind the goal line, I mean, that's where you can start to get to work. And Crosby, although it's a fortuitous bounce, you almost get the sense that once that puck gets behind the goal line, that's where danger can start. And the, the fortunate break for Crosby off of the stick of... Paul and Miller, it goes right to Latang. Pittsburgh is back out to center. Freddy Gaudreau in front. Marino right there. Shut down again by Tokarski. High tip. Reinhardt off the wall. Here comes Eric Stahl. A power move. Stopped by Jari. He'll hang on. Oh, then he knows. A bomb from well out. Right off the faceoff, Rasmus Dahlin. Finds a way to get it by Tristan Jari, and the Sabres cut the lead in half. Screen. Face-off win by Stahl. Montour gets it right to Darlene, and see if this touches Rodriguez. Hard to tell, but I don't think Jari was able to pick it up right away. I mean, the puck is on edge. It looks like the puck was on edge when he shot it, and sometimes for a goaltender, that can be hard to pick up. Look at this. A right-handed defenseman on the left side, left-handed defenseman on the right side. This is a set play by the Sabres. Much more advantageous. You could one time this puck. It's just too bad they couldn't sustain it once he went down. He is practicing. He could play it. Fumbled by Tokarski off the post and it stays out. Posed by Curtis Lazar. They resituate. Crosby wins it back. Latang will take it to the center point. Hinging down Kapanen. Out in front. Tokarski said no. Brian Rust on the doorstep. And Crosby gets it back out. Yoki Haru will reset it through the middle. Some space for Hall. His shot picked off by Jari. He'll hang on. And what a race it will be in the second half. Now Latang. He'll survey it to the outside. Rutz. His shot tipped on. Tokarski said no off Crosby. 2,000 fans here, even though it's about 2,800. It, it, these players notice it. Dalene's hurt behind the play for Buffalo. Rodriguez with a shot robbed by Tokarski. You have to you know, manage. The situation could see by Tversky there off another face off win by the Penguins. Have word, Kasperi Kapanen down the hallway to the room for medical attention. We'll keep an eye on it. Crosby stopped by Tokarski. He took care of his own rebound. Rust out of the corner. Now Dumoulin to the high slot. It's Rust. Moved across. Nice read by Cody Eakin. Cody Eakin, rather, and it's taken back by Gensel. 
His power move is stopped by Tokarski. Ask him a few questions. Crosby for Rust. Here's Crosby right in denied. Tokarski right through the crease. Cleaned up by Ristolainen. Off the scramble. Wilkesbury Scranton, the Pittsburgh American Hockey League affiliate. McCann out of the corner. Moved in. Tokarski telling his defender to wheel, and now McCann up top. Marino with a bullet, he scores! John Marino! A flat out bomb. And Pittsburgh has a 3 to 1 lead. Matt Irwin, and I think this is why he's not able to get in the position what he wants. But it's a great job by Pittsburgh to forecheck. See how he got tangled up with Irwin there? He's trying to recollect his stick, and in that process, wasn't able to get in the position that he wanted, and in just that split second of losing time allows Marino to get this puck to the net and for Tokarski not to get to the top of their Olofsson back again around the horn for Hall. Taylor Hall through the middle, a seam pass. Olofsson back again for Darlene. He'll cradle it. Here's Hall one more time. Shadowed by Freddie Gaudreau. Great play by him. He'll tangle out. Short-handed. Freddie Gaudreau breaks in alone. On the finishing end of all of that diligence from Freddie Gaudreau. Through him. On the power play. He knocks it out of midair. Watch this little move right there. He goes right around Darlene, who doesn't have a stick on the ice. Looks like he's going to shoot it. He throws it back. And Aston Reese has a wide open net. Eric Stahl with a little move out in front, glancing one wide of Tristan Jari. Sidney Crosby moves back, cumbering McCann, a foot race. Casey Middlestad, short-handed, walks in. Penalty will be called as Jari shuts the door. Right, so now Skinner tries to get by Marino. And a turn by Eric Stahl. He's taken down. They play on. Breakout for Crosby. Right in. He scores! Sidney Crosby makes it 5-1 to one, Pittsburgh. Is he going to take it to his backhand? Is he going to shoot 5-0? But watch what he does here. Watch how quickly he gets it off on the short side. Well, actually, it rolls on him right there. And it's kind of an unfortunate play for Tokarski. But the thing about Crosby is that sometimes he's unpredictable on when he's going to release the puck. And it keeps the goaltender on their heels. And Crosby and alone, this is a scary thought. And he's able to put it home and... Get the score to 5-1, but that puck on edge made it even more difficult. Even turns on the ice. Where it counts, the pens by four. They want more. Marino tipped wide and out of play by Irwin. So Victor Olofsson, 15th penalty shot this season, the fifth goal in Buffalo. Trails it by three. But then he takes it right back to his forehand, right there. And that's what freezes Jari. And a quick release by Olofsson, much like we see from Sidney Crosby, Edzo, where it's the puck's yeah. in front of him. Yeah. And it's hard for a goaltender to read, and good finish there by Olofsson. <laughs> to a man, the Pittsburgh Penguins continue to be dominant here at home. 13 of their 20 wins here in the Steel City as they surround Tristan Jari. Great leadership again from Sidney Crosby and a 5-2 win over the Buffalo Sabres.